It's the time of exaltation, but be cautious. Today on the Weekly Kingdom Outlook, let's go. Hey folks, Apostle Lewis here with you. So glad that I have this time with you. I want to talk about something very important. Um, the church reset in this last year. The Lord is resetting the church and he's bringing some correction. This is okay. It's actually his divine love that does this and in his heart for us to, to walk more in the glory, more in his uh, holy way and nature and and that we prosper in what he has called us to do. And this morning, uh, as I was reading and and praying and just uh, studying, I got, um, if you haven't seen it yet, there's a, uh, another book of the Bible by uh, Brian Simmons, Passion Translation, Joshua Judges, and Ruth is out. Uh, before I go any further, though, let me just tell you where you can find me. Obviously, on podcast. Look me up. You'll find Lewis T. Siena Ministries in there. You'll find me on Facebook, whether it be Lewis T. Siena Ministries or The Gate Church. You'll find me on YouTube, Lewis T. Siena Ministries or The Gate Church. And you will find me on Rumble under Lewis T. Siena Ministries. And you will also find me on Locals, thegatechurch.locals.com. You'll find me there. And then you will also find us on The Gate app. So you can get us there. Just go to the Play Store, of Google, or App. Uh, Apple and look up the Gay Church. Look for our logo in the Gay Church. Look for my mug somewhere in there, and and you'll have the right app. And so there's a whole bunch of stuff I put on all those different platforms. So uh, go ahead and do me a favor: subscribe, turn on the notifications, share the post with people, help us get the word out. All right. Oh, God, God, I gotta get that out of the way because if I don't, folks, I'll tell you, I just forget it at the end. Of course, I then I got forgot. Always LewisDCNA.com, where you'll find course lessons, uh, free stuff in uh, courses that you can purchase, sign up for my email list, all those things, and you can give if you'd like to support us there. Okay. Whew, it's a lot, but uh, I try to hit a lot of places. I give away a lot of stuff free. And if you're so, if you want to support that, if anything we're doing is pleasing and helping you along, then we would uh, invite you to support us, keep us in prayer, and things like that. All right. The church reset. You know, I prophesied this uh, last April uh, that I felt like God was giving the church to reset and that it was important that the church did not redo the same mistakes of the past. And one of the things the Lord spoke to me this morning as I was reading the book of Joshua, um, you know, they had this wonderful victory at Jericho. And God wants to give us this great victory. And that victory often comes through praise. Right, you know, praise is a mighty weapon of God for us that we can use. It uh, can defeat the enemy. It can destroy, you know, principalities and powers. It can put them in chains and fetters. Psalm uh, 149. It does remarkable things. Second Chronicles uh, 20, 20. We see that there. You know, they go out before we see it in Jericho. We see the priests going out, and but you know, did you know it was actually the tribe of Judah? And the, uh, the family of Achan who sinned against the Lord because what was for God, which was all the gold, the silver, um, all those things were supposed to go in the treasury of the Lord. He coveted them and he took them to himself. And uh, without reading it, but you can read it. It's Judges chapter six and seven. So you can go and read it. Uh, and it brought defeat to uh to them in their next battle. And I feel sometimes a church, you know, has great victory. And then the, the we somehow we've seemed to, you know, trip up in the next battle. We seem to have something that causes us a lot of harm or a defeat. And I feel that one of the things that will do that, and listen to me and hear my heart, because this is not pointed at anyone. It's pointed at everyone, <laughs> not just anyone, but everyone that there are times when there is praise given to God that sometimes we end up praising ourselves or we direct that praise to us. 
Now, I am all for God exalting people, and that is, and we have to have a lot of room for that because a church has no room for the exaltation of people. We see in just even in the story of Joshua how God exalted him in front of the people. But you see, Joshua's heart was not that he wanted to be exalted. That wasn't Joshua's posture. Joshua's pa posture was how does he serve God and these people and lead them into victory. And you have this one family, one man who covets. And he says this, when I saw among the spoils of the beautiful Babylon garment, 200 shekels of silver and the wedge of gold weighing 50 shekels, I coveted them and took them. And there they are hidden in the earth in the midst of my tent with the, with the silver under it. You know, so what, what you actually see here is that the gold, the silver, all this stuff was for God. We, by the way, you see this even um, uh, in the um, book of Nehemiah that there's a storehouse that's supposed to keep all the offerings for the priest. And they actually clear it out and they give it to uh, one of praise. They, they literally substitute what was for the priest. And this was sin at that point because now they, were, they weren't taking care of the priest and uh, Nehemiah has to deal with it. That's for another lesson. You have to understand what God has ordained. God has ordained when we go, when we go uh, waka, waka, waka with it and go off course it creates trouble uh, in the camp. And I, I'm telling you, God wants to take us as a church, as not just a gay church, as a church. Let's say the church in Jacksonville. I believe the church in Jacksonville and around the world is about to hit its finest hour in my lifetime. I believe the glory is here. I believe uh, the presence is here. And it's how we steward it and be cautious not to take the praise to ourselves. Now, let me tell you, God will provide, God will even enrich, but be cautious that you are talking to the Lord and obeying what he tells you to do. And the, the clear thing here was Achan disobeyed the word of the Lord. You know, and, you know, a lot of times our own hearts can betray us. He coveted, his own heart betrayed him, and it caused him, huh, huh, uh, you know, verse 25 of chapter 7, and Joshua said, why have you troubled us? The Lord will trouble you this day. So all of Israel stoned him with stones, and they burned them with fire after they had stoned them with stones. I mean, that, that you know, that's brutal, isn't it? But, you know, uh, what you have to understand is your sin, your decision to, let's say, direct praise to yourself or bring the attention upon yourself, your desire to do that can actually uh, direct God's praise that was for God, and you're turning it to you, and there's a price for that. It, you have to be so faithful in the glory that you understand the, he is the glory. You understand he is the presence, and that you get to abide in it. You get to um, uh, rest in it, and he rests on you. But you have to remember that when everything's said and done, God be the glory, right? God be the glory. And, and when you do that well, God begins to prosper you. And just let him do it. God's going to begin to prosper people because they're going to do it the right way. But I feel that um, sometimes the church gets into a tendency to worship how they worship. You, you understand what I'm saying? Man, worship was awesome this morning. It was so off the chart this morning. Man, we really, man, that was awesome. We really did a good job. Just, it, I don't want anyone to beat up each other. I'm just telling you to be cautious of being more proud. Let God give you praise. Let others give you praise. Don't praise yourself. Let others do it. You know, let others, and then just say thank you. And what you do when someone comes and gives you praise, you go, Lord, it was you. It wasn't me. Just say thank you. Hey, that was a great message this morning. Thank you. Thank you. Right? And then you go back in prayer and you go, Lord, here's my crown. I, I lay it before you. Here's the praise they gave me. It's really your praise, Lord. Don't go, oh, it's not me. It's the Lord. We know that. But I'm just saying how you handle this, how you walk this out, how you can stay humble in your exaltation.
because it's coming. There's an exaltation coming. How you stay humble in the exaltation is going to be key for you in the future. And it, but look at humble. Humble is not broke, poor, or in debt. That's not humble. <laughs> That's not humility. That's poverty. Okay? God wants you prosperous. God wants you blessed. He wants you in health. But he wants you totally trusting him all the way through. Let him bring, shower the praises on you. You learn how to carry those in and at your offering. Lord, look, at they, they gave me thanks for what you did, Lord. It was you. It was all you. It was all you. And then someone might privately say to you, how do you, how is the presence show up with you? It's God. He's so faithful, you know. But, you know, Bill Johnson used to put it this way. He would tell someone, uh, hey, that was a great song this morning. Oh. It was Jesus. He goes, no, no. If it was Jesus, it would have been a lot better. Just say thank you. But then in prayers, when you go, Lord, thank you for the gift. Thank you for bringing this about. And now you have something to carry in in that, that offering before him. Do not steal the gold and silver that belongs to God. Do not, don't let your, don't let praise cause you to steal the things. It was Judah that stole the things in Jericho that led to the defeat at AI. Just want to cautious that because it just came in my spirit this morning. It doesn't mean this isn't pointed at anyone in particular like they're not doing it. This is pointed at all of us as a word of caution moving forward because it's part of the reset. It's part of what God is doing. It doesn't mean don't be bold in speech. It doesn't mean any of that, okay? It just means be cautious, okay? Because in the glory, you have to be cautious. Amen? Amen. I love you, and I don't mind sharing that truth with you. And I, and I love the fact that you're in my life. So God bless you. You have a fantastic day. And I will make some more videos, and we'll talk later on. Fireside chat at my house in Jacksonville this Friday night on, uh, what would that be? May, uh, is that May 7th? So see you there at the house, 730. Love you. God bless you. You have a great night. Bye-bye.